What's up, guys? Oh my god, wait. First of all, isn't this the coolest shirt ever? If you don't know what this is about, X Files. I used to be a huge X Files fan, um, and I still am because I, I would love to have um, all the seasons and rewatch them again. Oh my god, I love that show so much. That's probably. One of my favorite shows of all time, I think. I was such a huge fan. I saw every episode. So, yeah, I want to go back and watch them all again. I feel like I ran a mile. Oh, my God. I don't know if you could tell by my voice, but I got sick. My brother got a flu, and then, I mean, the cold, the cold and I think I got it from him. So, yeah, it's just like, um, I got it maybe like three days ago or something like that, like, right during my birthday, um, which was on the 18th, uh, and I've had family over, um, from out of town that I hadn't seen in a long time, so it was nice to have them here, they just left yesterday, um, so that was pretty cool, but yeah, I was sick, um, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm feeling a lot better now, and it hasn't really hit me like other times, so hopefully it goes away and leaves me alone. I wanted to talk about my birthday because a lot of you have been asking me what I got and how it went and I really wanted to also do a video thanking you guys how amazing um, you are for just wishing me a happy birthday and all that. That's super awesome. If I'm looking off to the side, a lot of people are like, why don't you look at the camera? <laughs> you have no idea how hard it is to look at that little dot over to the side, which is the camera and not look at the screen. So I feel really weird looking at the dot. So yeah, I'm sorry, but I am looking at you guys. I'm one of those people that appreciate um, more like details like that, small details, um, m almost more than like actual material things. Of course, there are a lot of material things that I'm like, oh my God, if there's a fire, that's the first thing I'm going to save. But yeah, the, the details, uh, like little details, just people saying happy birthday to me and like wishing me a good day and all that, it, it means a lot to me too, so uh, yeah. Hey, let me start with my friend's uh, present because he was the first one, <laughs> you guys already saw it, but um, he was the first one to give me the present because we celebrated my birthday on the day after because that's when my family came over, but uh, yeah, my friend gave this to me on my actual birthday, which is... A Sherlock Holmes doll. When I saw this, I was like, this is the funniest title ever. The Unemployed Philosopher's Guild. And they've got all these awesome ones, and I'm definitely going to get more. They've got, like, Bach, Beethoven, uh, Gandhi, Buddha, the devil, <laughs> Obama, Monet, Shakespeare. I definitely need to get Beethoven and Shakespeare for sure. But, um, yeah, I thought this was freaking hilarious. I was like, oh my god, dude, this is exactly what I've always wanted in my whole life. <sighs> he got me this really cool, um, uh, what do you call it? Music box. And he made it. And it's super awesome. I swear I cried when, when I played it. I started playing it. Because you could play it so it was really old old school music boxes that you could create, like they have the little paper that you put it through and it actually plays the song that you put on the paper, like you have to poke holes in it. I was like, oh my god, I, so basically I can make my own music for this music box, but it has to be in the key of C. So the, the one that he, the little paper, the little song that he sent with me um, was... The happy birthday song and when I started playing it I seriously started crying because I was like this is so amazing. I think I put it in here just a second. Get out of here. This is the music box. This is the little hole puncher so that you can make your own little music and there's the little thingy that, that plays the music. These are the little music strips. This is the one that he sent me with. Uh, this is the happy birthday one. But yeah, it goes all the way, and I thought that was so awesome. Isn't that freaking awesome? And he sent me 
And I say sent me because he he wasn't able to come um, when I was awake because he just like left it on my doorstep because uh, he came like really early and I was still sleeping and I just saw it there when I woke up. But yeah, he gave me these blank ones and I could just go ahead and make whatever song I want, which is super cool. And he also gave me this fountain pen, which is so awesome. I've never, I've always wanted a fountain pen. Oh. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm super excited about using that and then they got little inky things. Bam. My older brother got me this little Disney, it's like one of the Vinylmation dudes. But he, he's a little bit different because he doesn't have the Mickey ears and I collect the Vinylmation, uh, as I, I think you, some of you know. Um, but this one's a limited edition because he said that it pretty much sold out in like three minutes. I was like, so he had to get up like at 12 o'clock at night, he, he was telling me. But the original one is like this, the, the normal one. He's got like the color uh, thing. And then the limited edition is just, he's just all glow in the dark. And you can take off the little suitcase, which is super awesome. So, I love this. This is actually the ghost, the bellhop from the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland. Um, no, actually, from the Twilight Zone, I'm sorry. From the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, the bellhop. So, got this cute little box with a little necklace. Um, inside, you can put whatever little, um, what are they called? I forgot what they're called, but those little, you slip them on there, like these little thingies with like, diff like a letter or whatever. I forgot what they're called. <laughs> I always wanted to do that. Um, the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. I love my Funko Pop. I moved them from there to up there. Because whenever I had, like, little cousins, kids that would come over, they'd come in here and they'd grab them all and, like, <laughs> so I put them up there. Um, so, yeah, I added the Beast to my collection of Funko Pop. And before you guys ask me, oh, my God, have you seen the new Mass Effect Funko Pop that is coming out soon? Yes, I have. I got those photos on pre-order. <laughs> my cards. This is from my brother because he's a moron. <laughs> he actually crossed out grandson. And this is from my mama. A little crazy shih tzu. Mm. Now, oh look at the bag. Where some of my stuff came. I love it. You guys remember Tony 1983-ish, right? He, he gave me the Superman right there. He sent me money to get the Superman. And he, the other day, he was like, I want to get you something for your birthday. And I was like, no, don't. I, you, you don't have to, just don't. And it was his birthday on the 17th, the day before my birthday, which was super cool. But he wanted to get me something. Let me show you a little hint on what he got me. A little nose cough. No, I'm just kidding. The freaking PS Vita. I was like, no. I, I, I told him, no, dude, this is too much. Just don't. And he was, he was like, no, I want to get it for you. I could. And that's what I want to get it, be get you because it's going to be awesome for the PS4 and this and that. And I was like, so he sent me money to get the PS Vita bundle, the Wi-Fi bundle. If you haven't seen it yet, it's charging over there. Right there. <laughs> he sent me also some money to get Liberation, Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation. Started playing it yesterday. He 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 told me to get the cradle as well, which is on right now, and the grip, which hasn't arrived yet. You guys are just so awesome. You guys surprised me so many times. And um, another amazing th gift from one of you guys, Charles. I think he, some of you know him. He has a YouTube channel as well, so go check him out if you'd like. But he pretty much got Mark Meir <laughs> to send me a happy birthday. Which I was like, it doesn't matter how many times I've talked to Mark Muir, I still like geek out. I still freaking scream and like, ah! Because I just love him so much and he's just such a cool guy. And that day, the 18th, he was really busy filming uh, his TV show, Tiny Plastic Men, um, that airs in Canada. So he was on set all day and he pretty much took the time uh, to tell me happy birthday in costume that he was in as his character and as another character he sent me two videos uh... video... what are they called? video messages on skype 
two videos telling me happy birthday um, as different characters, and my my pretty much my head exploded. Uh, if you know what I mean, you know it was like <laughs> Charles set that up, and yeah, that. So thank you so much, Charles. You put a huge smile on my face. That's just so awesome. Talk, speaking of Mark Muir, it's his birthday today. You know, the coolest people have birthdays on July because, you know, we're just so cool. So go on Twitter or Facebook or whatever and just tell him happy birthday because he's super cool. And I just, I owe him so much for just being so awesome and doing this for no reason just because he's so cool. For those of you that don't know who Mark Muir is, he is the voice of Commander Shepard from Mass Effect. Hello. I'll put his Twitter in the description. It's not at Mark Mir. It's at Mark underscore Mir. At Mark Mir is some other guy. There were actually people that that were commenting in one of my videos saying, you know what we should all do on her birthday? Let's um, send, let's donate money for her mom. And I was like... Oh my god. And oh, some people actually did. Some people actually donated money for my mom's treatments on my birthday. And that was... I felt like crying because I was like, oh my god. It's just so heartwarming when, when people do that. Uh, when they show you that they care and that they appreciate what you do. Uh, that's just amazing. So um, thank you so much. It was a wonderful, wonderful birthday. Minus the little cold, but... Um, all, all of you guys made it so much better for me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so since I'm a moron, I forgot two of my biggest presents. Um, I was in such a rush to film that video. My two brothers actually got together to buy me the iPad mini. <laughs> I had no idea that they were going to do this. I I hadn't asked for it. I got, at first I was like, what is this? <laughs> I didn't know what it was. I was like, this is a joke. Like I thought I was, I was like, I'm going to open the box and there's going to be like a gift card to like freaking, I don't know, <laughs> Starbucks or something like that. But it, it was, it's the iPad mini, and that's what I'm recording with right now. Oh my god. And then my brother, my younger brother, got a hold of <laughs> Final Cut Pro. This birthday has been crazy for me because I was like, ah, oh, you know, don't get me anything. I didn't really ask for anything. Everyone was like, what do you want? What do you want? And I was like, I don't know. He got it because he he works in the field. Like, he, he does web design and he graphic design and, like, he does uh, video editing and he does, um, like, he takes uh, photography and, like, just, he, he, he works with a lot of those programs and he was able to get a hold of Final Cut Pro um, X, and I was like, oh my god, I was having so many problems with iMovie that I was like, I was literally, literally going crazy, and I kept on telling my brother, I was like, what am I gonna do, like, so he, he got me Final Cut Pro. You guys will start noticing not that much of a difference in my videos, but, uh, it does have a new, um, like, new features and so on, uh, different features, um, uh, and... Yeah, hopefully that solves a lot of my problems that I was having, because iMovie was just at its last. Like, it was just dying on me. It was so bad. It was, like I said before, it took, um, like, three days to edit a video that should have taken at least an hour or two. So yeah, thank you for everything, and I'll talk to you guys later.